Chow Su. He goes, oh, guys. Assassinize here. <laughs> um, with day two of 12 Days of Anime. And today I will be talking about how I'm grateful for the ending of Naruto. Yes. I don't know if I wanted to say this, but this is what I thought of today. And I'm really grateful to Naruto because of how... Well, I've been watching Naruto since I was a young boy. Like, dang, I can't remember. Maybe, I think it was like 6th grade. And I've been starting, um... And I started reading a manga because of a great YouTuber. Um, like, I don't know him personally, but I know of him. Um... For Neverworld, if you guys haven't seen this channel, please go check it out because it's the best thing ever. Like he, like that's the guy I go to when it comes to anime and manga. Like I watch one of his videos and they'll turn me on to something new. That's how I got turned on to Tokyo Ghoul, and that's how now you guys know how much I love Tokyo Ghoul. So the ending of Naruto, Naruto was definitely one of the best animes of all time in manga. And I feel as if if you haven't watched it and you're like into anime and manga, what's wrong with you? Like, come on now. And I'm really grateful to Masashi Kishimoto. I'm really grateful to just like, just to have Naruto. Like, how much he struggled to be who he wanted to be and to have him accomplish that and even have kids at the end is like something great. And it teaches us that all of us can be whatever you want to be we just have to have that certain strive and actually go for those things and Naruto definitely taught me that so if I want to be better at YouTube I gotta believe it <laughs> as they say but that's basically all for this video I'm very grateful for Naruto this year and I intend to watch that spinoff or read that spinoff or both and I think you guys should too. Jana.